Hello, it's Fred Mack again, your friendly video game audio programmer, and um, today I'm going to show you um, how we make sounds and um, turn them into dynamic sounds, with what I like to call them dynamic sounds. You know, one of the problems with um, video game sound is if you have, you know, you want to make something like a fire, um, you go out and you record some fire burning and you make a loop of it, and this is what it might sound like. And, you know, if you listen to that, it kind of, um, you, you kind of hear like a, a, a beat to it and it kind of repeats over and over again. I mean, it's, 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 it's not really a terribly convincing fire. I mean, and, and even less convincing if I just adjust this little thing right here um, and play it again. It has a, a really um, sort of a... A, a beat to it that um, repeats over and over again, and so it, it doesn't really, you know, it, it's it's su it's subtle. I I, I agree, but um, the the net effect is that it doesn't really sound as much like real fire. You know, you want something that sounds a little bit more like this. And and um, the way that I did that just there is by using a feature in FMOD. Um, where um, I like to call it a uh, pseudo granular synthesis. It's um, it's not real granular synthesis like um, like all of the uh, great um, trance musicians are doing and <laughs> people like that. I'm, I'm, this is sort of like a pseudo granular synth synthesis where basically the difference between this and real granular synthesis is that the grains are bigger in pseudo granular synthesis. So um, what I did is I used SoundForge to um, take a um a loop of some fire and I cut it up into all of these um little tiny um grains. Um they're they're kind of large grains, you know, each one of them is like a couple of milliseconds long, um at least, which is pretty big for a grain size. Um or uh even longer than that in some cases. But um, you know, we can we can listen to them here. I'll play them for you. There's a really short grain. Um yeah, I mean, you can see it's like, you know, half a second long, even. And uh, all the different 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 grains. And what I did is I sorted them. I listened to each grain and carefully listened to each little tiny, you know, piece of the fire that I cut up there. And I sorted them into what I call um, soft, medium, and hard, which is sort of like, you know, hard being um, a big fire, soft being a um, small fire. Um, something like that, or saw, or hard being more violent fire, and um, I I just named them uh, like that, and then I um, in in uh, F mod, what I did is um, in F mod I uh, I just I just um, created um, I just created uh, I just opened GIMP, which I don't want to do. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me just close GIMP for a second. Okay. Um, in FMOD, I I um, created um, sound definitions. In FMOD, first of all, I report I, I I imported all of those all of those different uh, wave files for the grains. So here they are, all the grains um, for that fire particle I, for that fire that I cut up. Um, all the different wave files, and I have soft, medium, and hard. Um, you know, like ten or fifteen of each one of those categories. And um, from those WAV files, I made sound definitions. And um, here's the different sound definitions for soft, medium, and hard. And so here's the soft. It has all the soft waves. The hard uh, medium has all the medium waves. And the hard has all the hard waves. And with that, FMOD, what FMOD can do is play all these back. And it can play, it'll play them back, you know, like a few at a time or... Um, uh, only one at a time um, sequentially, but it can also play them back randomly um, and sort of randomly choose how many it plays at one time. And the net effect of that is to create a fire that um, doesn't, it sort of sounds like the original fire, but it's not a looping um, exact recording of the original fire. So what that allows you to do is is have some dynamics in the fire. And, you know, again, I admit it, it's subtle, but um, the thing is that... Um, this kind of subtlety is really important in video game sound to um, help you, to help the listener, um, you know, be convinced that what they're listening to is real. And um, so, uh, you know, we can play the individual grains here, but over here um, in the uh, actual sound definition, you can play it back. 
sort of a random distribution of the grains all playing, you know, at once over and over again. Um, but, you know, played together and, and um, sounding cleanly um, uh, so that they uh, play back. And um, what that allows you to do, um, let me just reload this project here since I um, was messing with it there. Um, what that allows you to do is to create a um, a um, fire that has some sort of uh, like an intensity parameter. So here I can play back this fire. And I, I admit the effect is going to be kind of subtle here, but if you listen to it closely, I'm going to try to change this fire from a sort of soft um, fire of, you know, not much violence to a, a more violent fire. And you could also increase the effect with with by adding some um, signal processing effects as well. So this is just a really quick representation. So what I've done there, <laughs> Fmod um, lost the parameter. There it is. Okay, finally. So there's the soft fire again. <laughs> Sorry, um, but wh what that what that allows you to do is sort of like um, vary the fire as as a building burns. You know, so it starts out you know a little bit more soft, gets violent, and then gets soft again. So you have that. Like this. And this is done really simply by just um, placing uh, different the different sound definitions in different tracks of an FMOD event here. Um, so we have the fire particle soft, medium, and hard. And as I move the parameter back and forth, these um, volume uh, effects um, change the volume mix of the three parameter of the three um, sound definitions. So um, at any one time, you know, two of them could be playing. Two of them you are usually playing. And um, it mixes the uh, levels between those two. So it either mixes the level between soft and medium, or it mixes the level between medium and hard over here. And um, that gives you the different uh, intensity of fire. And it's a, it's, a, it's a nice effect because the volume of the effect isn't really changing. It's just sort of the um, intensity of the effect is changing. And it, um, it's a subtle thing, but um, it helps a lot in video game sound. Alright, so thanks for listening and that's it for me.